My very first paycheck with YouTube was Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel B. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. Okay, so I have a very exciting video for you guys today. If you see me looking down, that's because I have my laptop in front of me so that I can reference some things. But listen, I know why you're here. I just want to say before I get into the video, I'm not going to explain how you go about being monetized because I think all of the videos that tell you about the first paycheck of YouTube starts off like that. Y'all know all of that just, I wanna explain my journey just a little bit and then also reveal to you how much I made in my very first check um, for my very first month of being monetized here on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you'll like, just keep on watching. For a little bit of background, I started creating content um, and when I say creating content, I mean like being paid to create content. April 2022. So if you guys don't know the story, I was working insurance. That was during the pandemic. I, just like so many other people, was at home working. I became extremely depressed, y'all. And I'm not gonna lie, I was doing everything but working. And eventually my boss found out. She bubbled it up and... One thing led to another and child, now I'm on a job. I had already made a conscious decision, decision, sorry, about two months prior to that, that in order to keep me motivated at work because you know, we we're inside, we we're on lockdown, things were just all over the place. In order to keep me motivated, I was gonna revert back to creating content because it was a point in time when I would create content back in the days. I didn't even know what I was doing was considered vlogging because y'all, I would dead ass be on Snapchat. I'll be on, before it was Instagram stories, I was on Snapchat. And then I think it went over to Instagram stories. I would literally be showing people, oh, on my way to the store, this is what I'm wearing, this and a third. Like I was always doing that and did not even know that I was vlogging. So many, many years later, 2022 came around, pandemic, and I was like, you know what? I remember the last time I was extremely happy. I was creating content. I was having fun. I was like in front of my phone. Life was a lot more easy for me financially. So um, creating content was just fun. And when I fell into depression, I remember that cre created content really made me happy so I was like I'm gonna go back to it you know I'm gonna make sure I work Monday through Friday my insurance job that I really wasn't liking too much it was becoming so boring and so mundane I was like you know what I am going to actually solely rely on creating content just to get me out of this kind of sad phase and so two months before I had gotten fired um, I had made that decision, so I was starting to create my content on the weekends, and it made Monday through Friday work days so much better. I had something to look forward to, right? I guess the damage had been done already, and you know how it is. You know, HR kind of builds their case. Oh, you know you're working, but you're really not working. Y'all know how that goes, especially working from home. Child was doing everything but working, so I ain't going to even fault the people for that. I'll never forget, it was 420, because I was like, damn, I wish I had a job. I don't smoke. So, um, from that day four, I started getting serious, serious, because at that point, I needed the money. I started picking up brand deals, like, in the same week. And it was so crazy, because I would just post something. I would just post a photo. It will do really good, and brands will start reaching out to me. And I'm like, yes, out the gate. Like, it did not take me a long time to start getting brand deals and partnerships. Now, granted, I was about 60 pounds lighter than what I am now, so it, it definitely wasn't an issue. Not to say that weight is a thing, but people like what they like. Companies like what they like. Brands like what they like. And in order for them to even slide in your DM or to email you, they gotta like what they like, what they see in front of them. Around that time of 2022, I started my YouTube channel. I want to I wanna be clear before I really say that. Let me, let me double check. Scratch that. It says that I joined April 2021, but let me just be very, very clear. I didn't really start posting until like 2022. So I had the channel for like a whole year and didn't post a single thing. When you start YouTube, 
you don't make any money. So I was making money off of brand deals, pay partnerships at the time. It was like Instagram Reels. I was making money other ways and and on affiliate marketing. YouTube was like my last like thought on my brain. I always knew that I wanted to be a YouTube, but I a YouTuber, but I knew it would take time and I would be I would need to be in a financially good place to really give it like my all my all. And like 2023 that I was going to take it a little more serious. So I was like, okay, I'm going to start posting once a week. Child, when I'm telling you 2023, that did not happen. 2022 ain't, it didn't happen. I probably posted on 20, in 2022, I probably was posting like once a month, once or twice a month. If I could get two videos a month, that was a good month. 2023, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do one a, a, one a week and y'all, it, it wasn't happening. And I'm telling you, no lie. It is June 23rd, 2024, when you guys will see this video. I did not get serious on YouTube until about January 2024 so about six months ago so even then y'all in 2024 I'm still not posting as much I'm literally posting like once a week needless to say I did a video that did really really well and that is the video where I talked about um me moving from Minneapolis, I mean, me moving from Miami to Minneapolis, which that video was doing really, really well. A second video that did extremely well was my solo trip to Curacao. Now, I had been on a solo trip before and actually did a video to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, but it did okay. This one did excep exceptionally well. I want to kind of give you guys an idea. Oh, Lord. Whoa, I didn't even see this. Okay, y'all, so scratch that whoa i didn't even freaking see this okay i lost 20 pounds and I, I lost 20 pounds in three weeks realistic eating tips and more watch entirely for my secrets y'all that did 104 views 104 thousand views i did not know that i could have gotten a lot of money off of that video let me tell you what happened by the time i got monetized that video had been almost like a year out. Yeah, like I did that video almost a year ago. So I was, I got paid from it, but I didn't get paid like how if I would have posted that today, baby, money on money. Actually, that's my number one video that did well. But keep in mind, that video was almost from like a year ago. So I didn't, I didn't get as much money off of that video as I could have if I did it more recent. I hope that makes sense. The second video that did extremely well was my trip to Curacao. So that trip was a month ago. Well, it's, it was posted a month ago and I got 71,000 views. So that one did extremely well. 313 comments. That's extremely good. My third video that did extremely well, y'all, mind you, Curacao was a month ago. This video, I'm about to tell you the the second, the third video that did the best was two months ago. Do you see how this was more recent? This is when I started to get monetized. I literally just got monetized in the month of May. So yeah, we're in, we're at the end of June. So I got 49,000 views on I Regret Moving um, from Miami to Minneapolis. That video did extremely well. Almost 50,000 views right now, 860 comments. Y'all, that was the video that just sent me over the top because, y'all, it was so many nasty comments in that video. It is crazy because it's just like, why the f would there be nasty comments about me talking about regretting my movement? Y'all, people are nuts. Like, people are sick. But I ran up a bag. The fourth video that did exceptionally well was my the work incident update, like a life update. And that was 19,000 views. And I got... 277 comments on that that's really really good so after the life update the next one was i'm 33 and i've never been in like a real a long term monogamous relationship that one granted me 17,000 views 160 comments on that one that one was really 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 good my sixth video that i believe my sixth video um it was a story time about, you know, my apartment situation, something that happened. That did 9,100 and something views. I wanted to just break that down to show you that those videos that did really, really well are videos that I made within the last six months, ex with the exception of 
with the exception of the weight loss one, which I did almost a year ago. I feel like I did really good. If you are thinking about creating content, don't even worry about trying to find a niche. Don't even worry about trying to make things perfect. Just start posting. Because when I tell you I did that video and I had no idea I would get 100,000 views on that video about me talking about my weight loss, which girl, I got a better, I got even that better video that's coming up. And no freaking idea that that video would do that well. So you just never know what piece of content you're gonna put out there and it's just gonna send it over for you. So I just got monetized last month. So without further ado, let's go ahead and I'm gonna reveal to you how much money I made. I direct deposit. Um, I think they actually send that envelope that you see everybody with. I think they actually send that to my home in Miami because that's considered like my permanent address. My parents' address is my permanent address because your girl be moving. Got paid on, today is Sunday when you guys will see this. I got paid on Thursday of this week, of this past week. Okay, drum roll please. My very first paycheck with YouTube was... $978.80. Some people, that's not a whole bunch of money, okay? For some people, that's like, mm, that's a little chump change. But let me explain to you what this money did for me. This money allowed me to see if I continue to be consistent, if I continue to just put myself out there with things not being perfect, I will actually get somewhere. Like to me, people see close to a thousand dollars. To me, I see that as if I keep going, baby, that's going that 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 nine hundred almost eighty dollars gonna turn into three thousand dollars. It may turn into five thousand dollars a month. Like it's just like the possibility of what I was able to do here on YouTube. And really, I stopped posting with the intention of, okay, I hope I become a really big YouTuber and, and be a millionaire. Like I stopped posting for that. I started posting because I'm not gonna lie, I love long form content. I love editing, which is so weird to say. I love editing. I love seeing the final project. I love hearing y'all chime down below and me messaging y'all back. I love the haters come in the comments and I clock them. Like, I love all of that jazz. So I just started doing it for the love of creating content and look what, look what I was able to create. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. I hope today's video really inspired you to just put yourself out there. Cause like I said, you don't know what video is just gonna do numbers. And I'm so happy and I'm so proud I didn't give up. Even when I created my, my channel in 2021, didn't post. 2022, didn't post. I started to post, but didn't really post. 2023, mm, did a little something, something. 2024, I was like, uh-uh, it's up and stuck. I'm going to start doing it. So, yeah, I'm so happy that I was able to do that. And we going to see because I'm already, I, my check already looking good for the month of July. So, okay. I hope you guys got something for this video. I am so excited. I'm so happy. For the month of July, I'm trying to just bring y'all content, 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 content. See what y'all like, see what's sticking, see what's not. And I'm just so excited to take y'all on this journey with me. I'm so excited to have y'all here supporting me, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of that. It, it is so, it feels so good creating content, especially because you guys know that I have my nine to five and I absolutely love, I absolutely love my job. I love what I'm doing. You know, I don't like some of the circumstances and I don't like the place, the location geographically, but I absolutely love my job. Close to six figures making, making at my job. I got affiliate links that I'm still, you know, working with and I'm getting paid from. I have brand partnerships out the wazoo, y'all. Every month I'm filming content for brands that I have contracts with. And then now to have this on YouTube, I'm just so overjoyed. I thank God so much. God is really in the business of just blessing and just huh, giving me strength to just keep going. Because y'all, sometimes I'm not going to lie, between my 9 to 5 and my content career, it's very hard to maintain. But y'all, I'm pushing myself. This summer, I'm pushing 
it to the limits because we only got six more months left in this. We only got six more months left in this year. And I want to be able to say 2024. And so far, it has been the best year. Like, hands down, y'all, probably of my life, 2024. I made some big changes, some drastic changes. I've had some heartache. I had some pain. But when I tell you 2024 is almost my best year. We're going to see how it finishes out. I have high hopes. But, y'all, I just want to tell you, if you're thinking about creating a channel, just do it. Just do it. Stop thinking about it. Stop over. Yeah. Mm -mm. Just do it. Okay? Thank you guys so, so much for the support. Thank you for watching me. And until next time, bye.